Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. Today we're going to be installing the Coulance Vid 398GX2 water cooling block on the XFX9800GX2 video card. Before you start modifying or installing the water block, check with your manufacturer to make sure you don't invalidate any warranty on the card. XFX have a modder friendly warranty so we should be okay in this instance. So let's check and do a quick inventory, make sure we have everything we need before we start. Here's our GPU water block, our 9800GX2 video card, pliers, we'll need an assortment of screwdrivers, LED wiring harness and thermal pads, replacement screws, alcohol swabs, thermal paste, oh, and our hot glue gun. Can't tell you what the hot glue gun's for, yet. First step we need to remove the six screws in the back of the video card. We also have two hidden screws behind these black rubber plugs, so just peel those plugs off and take those screws out. Then we can gently pry the case apart. And there you go, there's the top of your video card. On the inside of the card there's two screws we need to remove. Those will help us in removing the bottom part of the card case. Now gently pry the card around the white Molex plug and lift it out. Now we need to remove the four screws from the DVI connection port. And there we have it, there's our video card without the steel case. What a magnificent sight. Just remove the 12 screws on the top of the card and you'll have 12 screws on the bottom of the card. When we get all the screws off, we'll need to unplug the fan. And now we should be able to pry those cards apart. When you've got the cards apart, just remove the DVI bracket and the heatsink fan and assembly. Now clean the GPUs with an alcohol swab and the PCIe chip, as well as all the other memory chips, voltage regulators, etc. Apply all your thermal pads and now let's put on some thermal grease. Just a little dot is, is ideal on the GPUs. You really don't need a lot of this stuff on there. And your PCIe chip as well. I usually spread this out with a thin piece of plastic or you can use something like a business card. You just want to get it across the chip as thinly as possible. So let's install the water block. Line it up with the screw holes that you just took the screws out of. Then position it on the card. Make sure that it's matching up with all your thermal pads. Now be very careful with the ribbon on this one. You've got your connection ribbon for your two graphics cards. Just make sure you line everything up and those connectors for the ribbon remain in place. Now when you have everything lined up, let's pop in some screws. I usually install a couple of screws around the GPU first, but I guess that's just personal choice or preference. All we need to do now is install all the screws that come with the Coulance kit, and we'll be in good shape. Turn the card over and do exactly the same on the opposite side of the card. Install again all the screws that come with the Coulance kit. 
I usually again install those around the GPU first. Now we need to install the DVI screws. And there she is. All we've got left is to install the LEDs in these holes. Just pop the LEDs into the holes. And the actual connector plugs in where you uh, would normally have your uh, heatsink fan connector. It just plugs straight in there for the LEDs. Use the hot glue gun and hold all the LEDs in place with some hot glue. Lastly, neaten up all the cabling on the back of the card so it doesn't uh, foul anything and you're in good shape, you're complete. Not a bad little sight, is it? It's a nice neat little water block. So what do you think? That's the new Coolance water blocks installed on the 9800 GX2s inside the case. It's, it's pretty impressive. Those blue LEDs are bright, really bright. Again, pretty neat installation. Coolance obviously thought this one through. Very well engineered, very clean and neat. One hose in, one hose out. Got a connector there for the two cards. Nice. Let's see what impact these uh, water blocks have had on the GPUs. This is 3D Mark Vantage, this is the new Calico scene, and look at GPU 3, 91 degrees, and this is the water-cooled version, GPU 3, 45 degrees. The, these water blocks are unbelievable, they're, they're halving the heat load on these GPUs right now, unbelievable. Thanks for watching Troubadour's videos. The Coolance VID 398GX2 GPU and RAM cooler water block is a fantastic piece of equipment, very well designed and engineered and has a huge capacity for water cooling and keeping your graphics card cool. I highly recommend it. I'd like to say thank you to everyone who's given me feedback and posted comments on my YouTube videos and as always if you enjoy watching these videos please feel free to subscribe. Thanks again.